Hi St. Joe families, Miss Dunn coming to you with your virtual field day activities. I'm going to have some open national trainers demonstrate all the activities for you. Make your family participate. Do this as a group, make it challenging for you. You could do these activities inside or outside depending on the weather. Make sure you keep your scorecard and tally everything up. Send your photos and videos to Miss Gail. Hope you have fun and enjoy all the activities. Everybody. Welcome to Open National Field Day. I'm Open National Trainer Will Potter and this is Paper Airplane Cornhole. Get ready. You'll need three paper sheets per player, a bucket, or a laundry basket. Get set. Create three paper airplanes using a design of your choice. Place your bucket five to ten feet away from your throwing line. On the start signal, fly your airplanes as many times as you can towards your bucket. Score two points for every plane that lands in the bucket. Score one point for every plane that hits the outside of the bucket. And score no points for any plane that does not hit the bucket at all. Write your score down on the official field day scorecard. Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Mike Morris, and I'm going to be showing you how to do soccer ski ball for National Field Day. For this activity, you'll need a laundry basket, a bucket, a Tupperware container, and 10 sock balls. The object of this game is to score points by kicking the sock balls into the ski ball targets. Score one point for every sock ball that lands in the laundry basket. Score five points for every sock ball that lands in the bucket. And score 10 points for every sock ball that lands in the Tupperware container. You get 10 chances to score as many points as you can. Write your score down on the official field day card. Thanks for participating in National Field Day. Hi, my name is Ashley Sharp, Open National Trainer, and I'm here with my daughter Riley, and we're going to show you the Towel Flip Challenge. All you need for this event is a beach or a bath towel and a timer. Lay your towel flat out on your floor and stand on it. The object of this game is to flip your towel as fast as you can without stepping off of it. You can take small steps from one part of the towel to another. However, you can only move it when you have both feet firmly in place on top of the towel. The towel must be flat at the start and flat at the finish. You have one minute to complete the challenge. Ready? Begin. Hi, my name is Shannon Molly, Open National Trainer, and this is Milk Jug Relay. The object of the game is to carry the milk jug across the room as many times as you can. You get one point for each full length you travel. To add an extra challenge by carrying two milk jugs at once, you're going to have one minute to complete this challenge. Ryan, ready, set, go. I'm Open National Trainer Chris Walker, and I'm going to show you how to play bowl ball for National Field Day. All you need is a sock ball, six bowls, and something to mark six or eight feet away from the bowls. Your goal is to score as many points as you can in one minute's time, and you put your final score on the official scorecard. In the first three bowls, you get one point. The middle two bowls, you get two points. And the farthest bowl from your line, or my sandal, you get three points. Watch. One. Yes. Yes. So I have a total of four points. I would write it on my on my official scorecard, and that will be my score. One minute. Looking forward to seeing you on National Field Day. Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Crystal Williams, and today I'm going to tell you about an activity called Water Bottle Track for National Field Day. In this activity, you will have one minute to roll your socks or ball towards your trap which is made of a water bottle in a basket. I'm going to explain the point system. You score one point by knocking your water bottle down and only trapping your socks. You will score two points by knocking the water bottle down and only trapping the water bottle. And you will score three points by knocking the water bottle down and trapping the socks and the water bottle. Here's a quick demo. 
demonstration. Thank you for participating in National Field Day. My name is Candace Young and I'm an open national trainer. I'm here today to teach you a game called the penguin race and here's the way it works. You need a ball of any size. You're going to put it in between your knees and you can use solo cups or you can even use these big jumbo cups and all you're doing is is you're flipping them up and down, up and down. Now, if you drop your penguin egg, you're going to do five jumping jacks. After you do five jumping jacks, you put it back in between your knees and keep going. If you play this by yourself, you're going to see how many times you can flip the cups over in one minute. If you play this with a partner, you're going to flip the cups six times and see who can do it the quickest. I hope you all are enjoying National Field Day. Thanks for participating. Bye, guys. Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Jason Steele, and today I'm here to show you how to do If the Shoe Fits for National Field Day. I've got a couple helpers who are going to demonstrate how to play. On If the Shoe Fits, you'll have one minute to score as many points as possible. Put the shoe on the tip of your foot and kick it in the air. If it lands on the side, you will get one point. If it lands on the sole, right side up, you will get two points. And if it lands perfectly upside down with no sides touching, you will get three points. Zero points One. if you're outside and you hit a window or kick the shoe on the roof. And zero points if you're inside and you hit a TV or a lamp. Write your total number of points on the official field day scorecard. Two. Now go wash your foot. And thanks for participating in National Field Day. Hi everyone, welcome to Open National Field Day. I'm Open National Trainer William Potter and this is Backboard Banquet. Get ready. You'll need five large sock balls, a laundry basket or a bucket, and a wall or flat surface. Get set. Roll up the socks to make sock balls. Place the basket or bucket against the wall and mark a distance five to ten feet from the basket. Go. This event is called Backboard Banquet. The object of the game is to score as many points as you can in one minute. You do that by tossing the sock balls off the wall and into the basket. You must use the wall as your backboard and bank it into the basket. Score a point for every sock that is banked into the basket. Write your score down on the official field day scorecard. Hi, my name is Stephanie Dixon and I'm an open national trainer. And Downing and I today are gonna to show you how to do the coin flip 400 meter dash. What you need is a coin, and then just a little bit of personal space for you to run in place. So what we're going to do is you're going to flip the coin. Downing and I are going to do it together, but you could have do it separately if you wanted to. As soon as you flip your first coin, you start the timer and go. What is it? Heads. We're going to run 20 times in place. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then we're going to flip it again. It's tails. We don't do anything. It's heads. We run 20 times more in place. Go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And you keep going until you go to 400. Hi, I'm Betty Ann Fish, Open National Trainer. And I'm going to show you how to play Flip Your Lid for National Field Day. You'll need a spatula and a Tupperware lid. You can play inside or outside. If you play inside, make sure you have enough space to flip the lid. Here's how the game is played. You're gonna place your lid on the table or you can place it on the floor. Slide your spatula under, flip your lid. If it lands right side up, you get zero points. Keep going for one minute. If it lands upside down, you will get a point. Record your score on the Open National Scorecard Thanks for participating in National Field Day. Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Roy Mitchell, and I'm going to show you how to do Keep It Up for National Field Day. Keep It Up is an activity where your objective is to strike your object in the air as many times as you can in one minute. Count how many times you do it. If the balloon hits the floor, pick it up and continue. Once you're done, 
record your score on your official field day scorecard. For an added challenge, you can use more than one object and alternate as you hit them. Thank you for Hi, I'm Open National Trainer Tanner Rose, and today we're going to play a game called Look for the Good. L F T G. You're going to look for items around your house that start with those letters. L, like a Lego. F, like a fairy. T, like a tablet. And G, like goggles. You have one minute to find them all. Score one point for each object and a bonus point if you find all four. On the start signal, leave home base and go find an object that starts with the letter L. When you find it, return the object to home base before looking for the next object. Continue until you find all four items or time runs out. Record your score on the official field day scorecard. Hi, my name is Ashley Sharp, Open National Trainer, and I'm here with my daughter Riley, and we're going to show you Field Day Scavenger Hunt. Have a printed copy of the scavenger hunt worksheet. These are the items you have to find. They can be lying around your house or yard. The object of this game is to find as many items listed on the worksheet as possible in five minutes. On the start signal, search around your house and or your yard and collect the items that fit the description on your worksheet. Score a point for every item that you find. If the item can't be collected, simply move on and don't check it off your scavenger hunt worksheet. I'm National Open Trainer Kristen Baranowski and today I'm going to show you the egg and spoon challenge. I've already put my markers down about 15 steps from one another. I have my spoon and I've made an egg out of a sock. So I'll start the timer. I've got one minute and I'm going to balance all the way down and around my marker and back and that counts as one. You're going to do this as many times as you can for one minute. If you drop your egg, that's okay. Stop where you are, pick it up and start again. Once you're done, record your score on the official scorecard. Hey, this is Open National Trainer Mike Martinez and we're going to show you how to do the clothes relay for National Field Day. The Clothes Relay is a timed challenge to see how quickly your participant can run from the starting line to an end line about 12 feet away, put on an oversized t-shirt, run back to the starting line, put on an oversized pair of shorts, Head all the way back down to the end line, put on an oversized hat, any type of hat will do, and then come all the way back down to the finish line to end. That is the clothes relay.